Hi, this is Ken Roosevelt, and um, <clears throat> we're going to try Chubby's Theorem, um, a problem from the book, page 137, number 37. We're going to see if this helps you guys out. So what the book says is a survey of a number of leading brands of cereal, sh cereal shows that the mean content of potassium per serving is 95 milligrams and the standard deviation is 2 milligrams. Find the range in which at least 88.89% of the data will fall. Use Chebyshev's theorem. So, this is actually a very straightforward problem if you know how to use algebra. Here's what we know. Chebyshev's theorem says that um, the proportion of data that will be within k standard deviations of the mean is 1 minus 1 over k squared. And of course, that'll give you a, a, a decimal, so you would multiply it by a percent, or 100, to make it into a percent. So let me even include that aspect. So we multiply by 100, and that gives us the percent. Well, they're telling us in this that the percent is 88.89 that they're looking for. So what I'm going to have to do, because of the parentheses are getting multiplied by 100, first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to divide everything by 100. So first step, divide both sides by 100. Those cancel. And now your new thing is going to be uh, 1 minus 1 over k squared equals 0.8889. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. Now, we continue solving this. So what are we going to do? We got 1 minus 1 over k squared equals 0.8889, which is actually 8 ninths, if uh, you recognize that as a fraction. But if you don't, you don't need to. Because you can go and you can minus 0.8889, subtract 0.8889 from both sides. Keep in mind that this is 1.0000. So you're left with 0.1111. And simultaneously, let's move that case uh, 1 over k squared, which is negative, to the other side by adding 1 over k squared to each side. And these guys will cancel, those guys canceled, and now we're left with this. So 0 0.11111 equals 1 over k squared. <clears throat> and now we can uh, do a little cross multiplication here if we'd like. Well, what just happened? All right, I don't know what's going on. This uh, this timer thing is coming up. I might have to re-record this. Hold on. You want to turn that fan on high over there? Maybe my computer will cool off. Okay, there, my pen is back. So we're going to cross-multiply. When you cross-multiply anything, you um, they should both be fractions, so you can cross-multiply. If one of them is not, you put that number over 1. And then you do this times that, because this times that. And you get this. And then you can divide out the 0 0.1111. And when you do that, you will get k squared equals, it'll probably come out like 88.888, you know, something. Um, but the answer is 9, okay? Square root both sides. When you take a square root, your answer is always plus or minus. Um, the square root of the number is 3. So k equals 3. All right, what does that mean? <clears throat> Let me add some space here, and I'll tell you.
Why won't it let me add space? Let me try over here. Okay. What that means is 88.89% um, of the sample lies within plus or minus three standard deviations of the mean. So what is one standard deviation? They told us it was um, two milligrams or something. So two times three is six. So we're looking at 95 plus or minus six, which is between 89 and 101. 89%, 89, pretty much 89% of the data will be between 89 and 101, will contain between 89 and 101 milligrams of um, potassium. Oh, I hate that. So let me go down and I'll write that. Um, Of potassium, so almost 90%. Or that's, that's this element name is K or symbol. Okay, that's it. I hope that was helpful to you guys. That's how you use it. Um, if there's another problem you want me to do from that same page to help you clarify it some more, uh, you know, send me an email. All right, how do I close this? There.